Welcome to The Five, where we cover different topics from pop culture. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you like our content, and hit the notification bell, so you never miss a new video. Brian McKnight, the popular R&B singer, has been receiving criticism on social media for not acknowledging his biological children. The 53-year-old musician has four children from previous relationships, including Brian Jr., Brianna, Nico, and Clyde. Twitter users pointed out that McKnight had not included his biological children in his Instagram bio, but acknowledged his stepchildren in a way that appeared to slight his own kids. The criticism started when a user reposted an Instagram post from 2020, in which the singer thanked his stepdaughter for making him a girl dad. In the post, McKnight wrote, Jules I became a girl dad because of you, and I couldn't have asked for a better daughter. He continued, Here's to you Jules the perfect daughter I always wanted. Twitter users criticized the post for appearing to be a subliminal jab at Brianna, his daughter from a previous relationship. The R&B singer has been at odds with his four children from previous relationships for several years now. In 2019, he shared a video addressing past backlash and explaining why he is estranged from his children, citing reasons such as them being entitled. Anyone who knows me knows over the last 20 years, 30 years now as a matter of fact, that I've been there for my children every step of the way until recently. And let's be clear, my two sons are 30, and 27, not 12, not 13, but 30 and 27. Now my daughter's about to turn 18, that's another story I'll get to in a second. Uh, I've never missed a day of child support. I've never done anything adverse to my children whatsoever. I've always been there, I've always been there with advice, whether they took it or not. I've always been the sounding board and I've always been the one that tried to, to help them achieve whatever dreams they were wanting to reach out for. Um, I guess one of my only faults is that I gave my children everything that I didn't have in the hopes that they would appreciate it, because I know how much I would have appreciated it when I was their age. Um, I would tell you as parents out there, entitling your children is probably one of the worst things you can do, and I know I am guilty of that. Um, for whatever reasons, I'm guilty of that. Um, tough love is a tough thing as a parent to try to institute to your children, because you want to help them as much as you can, and I did as much as I possibly could. When I stopped doing that for them, BJ was 25 and Nico was 22. And it wasn't like I completely cut them off at that point. That, that happened much later. But I've been there. Um, when I put them out of my house, I gave them an apartment for two years. And I said, guys, this is it. This is the time to grow up. I'm giving you two years, I'm gonna pay for everything for two years, but you're gonna have to work or do something because at the end of those two years, that's gonna be it. It's time to be men here, guys. It's time to grow up. At the end of those two years, they hadn't done any of it. We talk about abandonment, we're not, yes, I'm not abandoning them, we are estranged, which happens more often than not in this particular situation. Um, as far as my daughter is concerned, um, you know, her mother, if you look back at my Instagram, she was a part of this family too, with Jack and Julie and Leilani and myself. And unfortunately, along the way, a couple of years ago, I got wind that there was an older cousin who was above 18, who was quite possibly having sex with her. So I called, as a father should, to the, the state office for, for children's affairs there in Arizona and I never heard anything back but the next thing that her mother did was to block all of us from her social media from her phone and completely estranged her from us so what that told me was they didn't want me to be involved in her life that way so to see the post that she said considering that her mother only had a child with me for money in the first place and I'll reiterate this I have not missed a child support payment she goes to one of the most incredible private schools in Arizona um, so I don't know where this is all coming from, but I thought that I needed to let everybody know that there's another side to this story. Um, you can choose to believe what you want. Uh, I, I thought that I would lay it out. Despite McKnight's claims, the children have a different interpretation of the situation. In 2019, his son, Brian McKnight Jr., spoke out about his estranged father and his disbelief about how he could turn his back on both his children and grandchildren. 
Brianna has also shared her pain on Instagram, in a 2019 post, where she detailed the hurt she has experienced over the years, because of her father's abandonment, thanking her brothers for filling in the gap. I grew up thinking that the things that happened to me, and my dad's relationship was my fault. I grew up thinking that he doesn't want to come to visit me, because he doesn't love me. Constantly put behind other kids that he would call his own, while I'm cast into a land far far away in the back of his mind. It sucks knowing that someone else, who's not even blood related to you, comes before you in every single way. At a very young age, I was always second place in my father's heart. Maybe even third, fourth, or fifth, depending on the situation. My father hasn't called to wish me a happy birthday in years, and yet I sit by the phone every single year hoping that one day his heart will change. I'm so fortunate that I have two brothers who are father figures to me. Who celebrate me and love me every single day, and that we make up the time that we lost. McKnight was previously married to songwriter Julie McKnight between 1990 and 2003, Brian and Nico came from that union. However, he had Brianna with his former partner, Patricia Driver, who he claimed, only had a child with him for money. Brian is now married to Lilani Mendoza, who has four children, three from a previous relationship. Her youngest, Brian, is the only child she shares with McKnight, and they had him earlier this year, after experiencing a loss. Thanks for watching. Leave all respectful thoughts and comments down below, and subscribe to The 5, for more content.